Hey guys, it's Todd Dekai at War again. I am back with another video, this time on how to make a DIY flounder light and a flounder gig with as cheap as possible. So if you stay tuned, I'm gonna show you what I did. Okay guys, so what I have here are all the parts that I need to make my flounder light. This is the most expensive part of my flounder light is the light, the LED light itself. And I found this on Amazon for $16. It's a diver's light. Uh, it's pretty bright. It takes, it has a one battery on the inside. So it has one battery on the inside, a 2000 MPH. And then it has an adapter that I can put three triple a batteries inside also and i have some some extra batteries this battery light is normally from what i've understood is for about two hours which is good because the other batteries that i have will be for another couple hours so i don't plan on being out there too long at night when i'm out there floundering so what i also have so starting from the back this is a cut piece, like I said, from a 10 foot, one inch PVC pipe. This is a seven inch piece. That's gonna be for my handle. This is a 18 and a half inch piece. That's about the length of my forearm. And so that's how I measured it. And this is the, the main stem. It's 40 inches. Now this is gonna adjust off of your height. So if you're taller, you may need a longer piece. If you're shorter, you may need a shorter piece. And same with, with this one and the uh, handle. Uh, I wanted enough where I can grip it and I had enough room top to bottom to be able to handle. So this is a two inch piece of PVC uh, cut from this as well. I have a one inch uh, 45 degree angle elbow I have a T handle or a T a T handle that's pretty funny I have a T uh, section of a PVC this is gonna go where my handle is this is a one and one quarter so it's one and one quarter here and one inch to one inch here and what this is gonna be for this is gonna hold the light so the light's gonna slide inside of here and this is gonna go to where the 45 degree is. And what this piece is for is to connect my 45 and that. And I'll show you more of that here in a minute. And then to end everything, I have a cap, one for the where the handle is and one for the end back where my forearm is. So those are the pieces that I've used to cut uh, or uh, I've used, so this is all cut from one piece of PVC and I have probably about 50 inches left of this 10 foot uh, one inch PVC pipe. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna glue everything together. So if you just stand by, you'll see me gluing everything. So that's it guys. Um, it was pretty easy. And like I said, it was very inexpensive. It cost me $9 and like 80 some cents for all the hardware for the gig light. So as you see it put together, um, this is the finished product. It's pretty long. So you see it's finished there. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a video here shortly my son and I, we're gonna go out tonight and actually go to try to get some flounder. So hopefully we can catch something uh, or, you know, stab something. So like I said, it, you know, it's a 10 foot piece of PVC pipe. It was like a $2 and something 
the end caps were a dollar something a piece and these were like a dollar fifty for the uh the all the, the corner pieces for the 45 degree the t's uh, so it wasn't much at all and as far as the light like i was saying it's a, a dive light i'm gonna have all the description of everything uh inside the description of this video but this flounder light is pretty bright um it is very bright it has a couple settings on it hey it has a flash which i'm not going to use uh, and this is the little piece that goes on the inside for AAA batteries. So like I said, this was like $16. And uh, I'm gonna put that inside my thermal light. So what I'm gonna do, I have a way, uh, I'm gonna screw, so I have one more thing to do. I'm gonna screw uh, an eye in here, so that way, I can attach my flounder light with this little clip here onto there to keep it so that way when I do need to change the batteries, I just unhook it from here, take it out, change the batteries, stick it back in and attach it so that way it doesn't fall out. Um, and so, like I said, it's pretty inexpensive. Uh, this was the most expensive part. And then as far as my gig, I just took a broom handle I ordered a uh, gig head from Amazon this part was a little bit more expensive too I couldn't really find one uh, close but uh, where I could just go pick up this was I think nine dollars itself so the broom handle I think it was three dollars so it comes with the little screw it's not that sharp. That's the only thing. Ooh, that was kind of sharp right there, though. But some of these aren't that sharp. Uh, but they do have barbs on them. So, and it's not that big. My hands, I have a pretty big hand, though. But uh, it's only about four and a half inches across. But I'm going to use it, see how it goes tonight. Uh, and hopefully I can find something. If not, I'm going to go to a different place some other time. But I just want to get out there and try something different. Uh, find because the uh, gig light and pole itself were you know the cheapest I could find was a couple hundred dollars so and all I saw was people putting PVC pipe together so I just figured out I would do that myself I actually found this online this is not my original idea there's a guy named Special Ed who uh, did this video not this Special Ed <laughs> but this special ed here, uh, he's a YouTuber. He has, um, I found this that he did and he took it out at night and actually used it. So I'm gonna do a little video tonight. Uh, whether I you know, get something or not, I'm still gonna put the video up showing how it works inside the, uh, the water. Um, the only problem is a hurricane coming. I don't know how choppy it's gonna be tonight, if it's gonna be calm when I'm gonna be able to see or not. So uh, that's it. Hopefully uh, I can get something. Once again, I hope you guys like these shirts. Uh, like I said, I do these shirts myself. Uh, I don't wanna keep paying other people for shirts that I can do myself. I enjoy it. Uh, I can put the message on that I want. Normally I'd have my logo on the sleeve, but you're gonna see that I'm gonna start having more shirts like that. So if you want one in the description, uh, hit me up. So once again, uh, like my videos, share my videos, and um, subscribe to the channel. And thank all of you guys that are already doing that. So until next time, remember God loves you, God bless you, and may he keep you. Till next time, peace guys.